ungrateful motherfuckers, but you're right. So let's do this. You'll need Rust Up to get the Rust Compiler and the Rust Analyzer, but don't worry, just copy and paste this and everything will be magically set up. Next, you will need an editor with Rust Analyzer support, and you might have already one, but I strongly suggest to switch to Zed. It's super fast, super strong, and ridiculously minimalistic, and it has the perfect AI integration that doesn't bloat the UI or get in your way. It's there only when you need it. Also, it would be a great idea if you could read the Rust book before you start. No need to read it in depth. Just give it a quick skim to grasp concepts like ownership and borrowing, or how scaling works in Rust, when your project grows bigger. It might take you around two to three hours. It's not much, I promise. And so that's the official Rustlings repository on GitHub. And if you don't know, Rustlings is basically interactive exercises that you have to solve the previous for getting to the next one. I didn't know it either. I learned from comments on YouTube and it's actually a pretty neat way to learn Rust. Let me show you, okay? Copy this. I have it already. So next we run rustlings in it to create a new rustlings project that will create a rustlings directory with everything included. Inside, there is a cargo tomo file and also the exercises and the solutions folders. All right, let's run it. Uh huh, instructions. So, if this is your first time with Rust, you have nothing to worry about because Rustlings is made for beginners. Although, previous programming knowledge is somewhat needed. The only rule? You need to solve every exercise before you move to the next one. Okay, let's go! Rustlings already ran the first exercise that was compiled successfully, but there are 94 more for us to complete, and there is this progress bar to help us keep track. Um... Basically, I'm going to quit this and rerun it inside the code editor so I can see the outputs on the same screen here. All right, I believe we are ready for the first exercise. Exercises, intros, and intro two. Intro one was self-solved on the start. Here we get an error on print macro, which is just a typo. Let's quickly fix this. But the point is to first compile it, see the error on compiler, and then fix it. On file save, rustlings will run cargo, and since everything's correct here, we can move to the next chapter, variables. Every chapter includes a readme with some very short documentation, but it also links to the official book that I already told you it's a good idea to read it before you come here. So in Rust, every variable is immutable by default, and we can make it mutable by adding mute in front of a variable name. And only with that knowledge, we are ready to solve the full chapter. But the first problem is actually different, the variable declaration is missing. We could easily tell by Rust Analyzer message. Meanwhile, when we complete an exercise, we should manually update our progress, which is a little bit annoying. If Rustlings should fix one thing, that should have been the one. Okay, exercise variables number two. Change the line below to fix the compiler error. But I don't even need to see the compiler error. I'm that damn good. That was super easy too. We obviously need to assign a value to x for having an if condition. Next, please. Let's see something different here. So what's up if we don't know how to solve the exercise, how the solutions works? So I'll cheat here. I will solve it wrong, but it will pass the compiler. So rustlings won't understand that we cheated, which basically is the biggest limitation of rustlings. It would be cool if it was actually checking for proper exercise solutions. Second, please, to open the solution to show you. As you see, the solution is empty, and it only appears if we compile the exercise. It's like an anti-cheat system, but you can always crack it, haha. <laughs> so that's rustlings, pretty much, and people probably have a point saying that's better than just using AI for teaching you Rust, although when exercises get a bit tough, then some use of AI may be legit. In the end of the day, there is a problem to solve, so the end always justifies the means. So that was everything. Don't miss to check the pinned if you have any sort of questions.